Hello my lovely souls and welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing something a little bit different as I've been talking about on my community page and in my last couple videos. I wanted to do some different other videos on this channel still about spirituality and astrology and tarot and all of that but I really wanted to incorporate something other than just readings and horoscopes. Don't worry, the October and Libra season horoscopes are coming out very soon along with more pick a card readings. If you guys have any ideas for what you would like to see on the channel, leave them below. But in today's video, we are gonna be doing a video that I've seen floating around YouTube and basically I'm gonna talk about my honest AF experience with every single zodiac sign. So that I know of, right? Like, because I'm sure I've known people and I just didn't know that, like, what sign they were, if that makes sense. So <laughs> if anybody ends up watching this video that knows me and knows that I'm talking about you, I'm terribly sorry. My memory may not be the best. I'm going to describe to the best of my ability my memory from the things that have happened. As most of you know, like, I've had a really crazy past. I'm a recovering addict, so I... I was around a lot of shady cats <laughs> and I was around like a lot of really cool people too and I've had some really interesting experiences so basically this should be a very interesting video hopefully. So normally I would start for, with Aries but I'm actually going to save Aries for last for a special reason and I also want to give another disclaimer really quick. Don't take anything that I say personal if you are one of these signs. I'm not saying that anything about you you know because it's so much more than just your sun sign that goes into it so don't take anything i say too personally <laughs> hopefully you still view me the same after this video but some of you may not i'm just gonna let you know so uh let's start with taurus uh <laughs> taurus my sister ogs out there so i am a taurus midheaven but i'm a libra sun so i'm also ruled by venus so you would think me and taurus would get along really well, right? And maybe Libra and Taurus normally do get along really well. But in my experience, um, and I'm going to talk about some like dating and, and, you know, sexual experiences up in here too. But in my experience, I normally, like I can get along with Tauruses, but there's something like we don't vibe to that level. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying I'm on a different level, like we are on a different level, but I'm not saying I'm higher or they're lower or they're higher and I'm lower. It's almost like we just, I don't know, like I'm a very open-minded person. I'm a cardinal air sign, right? I'm a Libra. And so I'm very open-minded. I can see all sides of different things. And Taurians are normally not very open-minded. They can, you know, they are fixed in their ways. They're a fixed earth sign. So that's, it's not their fault. You know what I mean? And so basically there's this guy in particular that I'll talk about for Taurus where like I, and I've known other Tauruses too, and they were kind of similar to this as well, but I'll just use him as an experience. So I was like living with this guy. He was my roommate for like a little bit and um, he was a Taurus and it was really cool. Like we both loved all the Venusian things, right? So we loved music. We loved like movies and Netflix and chill, right? Like I'm down with all of that, just like Taurians are, but it was like a whole different spectrum like so he liked this kind of stuff and i like he liked these kinds of movies and i liked these kinds of movies or he liked this kind of music and i liked this kind of music and so it just never like jived you know what i mean there's this Taurus guy like back when i was in high school and he was like a huge player and he was known to literally sleep with like every girl like he was literally like a man whore and i was like probably like, praised myself that i had never actually been one of those girls like and then I ended up becoming one of those girls. Like I used to be a little, a little hoo-ha, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, so I ended up becoming one of those girls and he literally like, I basically like played games back with him because he was like a big game player. And then he like just acted like a child. And then I guess just gave up. And then that was that. And then after that, I was like just so unattracted to him. And I was like, I don't understand what that was. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So Torians I feel can be a little bit stubborn i know such a general it's such an original idea right but no seriously like we normally vibe really well and then there's like this girl that i worked with that uh was also a taurus and she was kind of the same way it's like i don't know she would just get kind of like really mad about certain things if things didn't go her way and was like everything had to be like really just her way and it was like okay like i get it you know what i mean like we could work together and we could get along but we would kind of bump heads every now and then because of that reason so anyways moving on from taurus gemini <laughs> i love the sign of gemini sometimes I, I i really don't understand how i have no gemini in my chart so i've only actually known like really really known 
two Geminis that I know of. Obviously, like, I'm a mom. So my son, um, he is a Gemini. And, you know, we're both air signs. So it's all like, ah! like mingling socialing all of that and then i worked with this guy and he was a gemini and like we were the same way <laughs> he was like ah and like i don't know like we just always laughed at the same things like we just got each other you know what i mean but that's really like only been my experience with gemini like you know that i've like really got to know you know what i mean so it's really cool i really like gemini's i may be a little bit biased because my son is a gemini you know what i mean but oh well anyways moving on so cancer <laughs> i love cancers most cancers i don't know what it is about cancers i feel like everyone around me is either a cancer or a virgo spoiler alert cancers like i always we just always get each other i don't know what it is because i really don't have a lot of water in my chart other than scorpio and so i'm not really like a huge emotional person um i'm actually really dry like my moon's in aquarius so i'm super dry and like not very good at expressing myself especially if it's like if i feel like it can be perceived as fake in any way i don't know if any other aquarius moons struggle with this but i've really been noticing it lately like when i'm op opening a gift and i'm like and someone's like waiting for my reaction I probably act like I'm really just not interested or something or like I'm really ungrateful because I don't want like I feel like it's too much pressure and I can't be fake about it and so I'm just like you know what thanks I appreciate it and it probably comes off like really I don't even know really weird it's really awkward or like telling people bye like when I do personal readings <laughs> I'm so weird when we get off the phone like and I feel like I sound so fake and then like I am because like I don't know what to say and it's weird and it's like okay thanks bye <laughs> like I don't know like it's crazy anyway so cancer anyways I just vibe with them for the most part like they're just really chill I've always gotten along with them and they just I don't know like we can attach like I've always had a lot of really good close cancer friends like growing up like one of my main partners in crime that literally like we experimented with drugs drinking alcohol boys parties like just crazy ass shit like our she's like my little partner in crime she was a cancer and we just understood each other for the most part the only thing about cancers though is i feel like i get frustrated with them because i see how powerful they are and they don't see their power and it pisses me off sometimes and so sometimes i get a little like I get like that in your guys's readings because of my experience there it just really pisses me off and i actually had this one good friend who was different like she you could tell she was like one of those people that used to let people walk all over her normally like cancers do or like kind of like they'll follow the crowd which is really weird because they're a cardinal water sign so you think they'd be like the leader you know what i mean but they they let people just push them around and it pisses me off and anyways but she had found her power and she did not take shit like she knew how to set up boundaries she knew how to say no like she was really confident in herself like not cocky but just like she found her power and it was really cool and like i really looked up to her and so i know it's possible so like i wish y'all would just do it you know like if you're if you haven't like i wish you would because <laughs> y'all can be badasses when you find your power um y'all are badasses anyway but you get what i mean so yeah i love cancer i did date a cancer so back when i was younger i experimented around with different genders and um i dated a cancer and once again it was like just attached like like we went everywhere together it was almost like we were best friends but we were also you know partners and it was insane and we just like attached at a whole different level like just so you know like that cancer is attachment like that emotional attachment and we just understood each other like when I would talk like you know they would understand when they would talk like I would understand and like we could have like a conversation where we would both understand everything the other one said instead of like you know when you have like a conversation with someone and they're like yeah 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 or you're talking to them and you're like i don't know like i learned like the grass is green and the sky is blue and they're like yeah 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 so anyways like i was walking the other day and like the 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 grass like it it freaking it's completely purple you know what i mean like and then like you have a conversation a full-fledged conversation explaining your point and why things are the way they are and then they go off and say something like completely opposite to what you just said that contradicts what you just said but they're not trying to contradict what you just said it's almost like they didn't even understand what you just said and even though you explained it like perfectly like and so people like that it's like i'm it's hard for me to get on that level but i've never had that issue with cancer so i love cancers i love y'all so moving on to leo um most of the people i would say at least the majority of the guys that i know like that i know their sign that i've dated have been leos um it's always been really easy for me with leos to like fall into a relationship I've, it's so weird like i've not known a lot of leo women that i know of 
like all the Leos that I've really known or had experiences with have been men and I'm a Leo rising so and I'm a Libra sun and I've never I've not had a lot of interactions with Libra either so I don't know if it's just like I don't know but anyway so Leo like we also like can click and get along we don't connect as the same like as I do with cancers let's say but it's almost like um there's like an attraction there you know because Libra and Leo is compatible but there is like an, a, an attraction there but the thing with Leos that I've noticed is the first Leo I dated I was like really really young like I was like in eighth grade going into ninth grade and he was I don't know <laughs> like we got along really good and like our whole little relationship was based around drinking I was just starting to like drink all the time we just like drink all summer like out in the woods with a bunch of our friends and then basically he would like talk to other girls because like like Leo's need to be seen right so and that's why I said in my Leo season video that I don't agree even as a Leo rising that Leos are necessarily loyal I think they're loyal to their heart they're loyal to who sees them you know what I mean and so and, and maybe it's not that maybe it's something else I just know in my experience every Leo I've been with has been somewhat unloyal I mean maybe not like actually went and like acted it out but they like text or sent pictures back and forth or hung out like behind my back you know like things like that and that just that shit like I, I can't I can't do it so no matter how attracted I am so anyway so after that guy once I got older one of my serious relationships was with another Leo it was like really intense like really serious and there was just so much like sexual chemistry and stuff there and like I really feel like he was probably like a like a soul connection like maybe everybody is but I really feel like he was like a really deep one even our in our astrology like there's just so much connection and stuff within our charts but anyway so it got really deep and it was like really intense and probably like the most healthiest relationship I had ever had at the time but he was also a recovering addict and at this time I was clean and I had gotten sober and stuff and he ended up relapsing and that was kind of that like that screwed everything up but then there was also these times where i would find things in his phone and he would be talking to like other girls like sending pictures back and forth like not very appropriate pictures you know what i mean and he never could like really give me a reason why he did it like even though he didn't go act it out like that's still cheating to me you know what i mean so i was just like do you just need the attention like do you really hate yourself because as prideful and boastful in my opinion as leos can act they are actually hiding a very low self-esteem but that's just my opinion and i know that's the case for me but i also have chiron and my leo sign and my rising or on top of my ascendant so there's that too but i really feel like it's the case with a lot of leos most recently oh i did it this kind of like look at me look at me look at me and mature in some ways and i just couldn't couldn't deal with that not that all leos are like that but some are so yeah that's my experience with leos i feel like we connect really well there's a lot of passion there's like a lot of connection there i love leos like obviously um, i'm a leo rising but as far as like dating it's just they would have to have other placements probably for it to ever like work out you know so virgo <laughs> okay so i've actually you guys know i normally say say some things about Virgo. I normally have a lot of jokes when it comes to Virgo and I may still make some, but I've really actually grown. This Virgo season in particular has really given me like a a really new look into Virgo for whatever reason. My um, significant other, he is a Virgo rising and I see the Virgo rising in him like almost more than I do his sun sign. Normally it can drive me crazy, but this season I've like really been trying my best to like do all the things do all the virgo things right and that way to give him a break and you know because virgos need a break like fuck like i couldn't be a virgo like no way like a lot of my other a lot of the other people other than cancers in my life that i've had are virgos and i and with virgos it's weird because i almost feel like a mothering energy more with virgos than i do cancers even though cancers are ruled by the moon the mother right so i mean they are like mother nature but i feel that more mothering energy with them they can drive me freaking nuts and once again i hate 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 how they will stick around and let people walk all over them or let people treat treat them like shit or like when they haven't found their power just like cancer like i hate that in fact virgo and cancer are very similar to me so i love virgos one of my old best friends that i had for a long time was a virgo and or is a virgo we would drive each other nuts but like we got each other you know what i mean and she just um 
she would just clean and clean and cook and like she was always doing stuff and just always busy and like so so vain so vain like literally had like a freaking self-care routine of like a thousand things and i'm a libra right and like it was like worse than me and like literally like the teeth the skin the freaking lashes like just everything like everything had to be perfect <sighs> It like drove me nuts. We're still friends, we just don't really talk as much as we used to, but I still love Virgos, and yeah, that's my experience with Virgos. Libra, so this is actually interesting. So I've only really know, like really met in person that I know of two Libras. I feel like I've probably known like a couple, but like we never were really like, we were just kind of like acquaintances. One I dated, and I'll start with him. So back when I was younger, I dated this Libra and a lot of sexual chemistry, like a lot. I was like, holy, it was like, we were just, I don't even know. And I fell for him hard and it was so weird because at first, like I did not, like I did not like him. It was really weird. Like I just wasn't attracted to him. Like I liked him as a friend, but I couldn't like picture myself like dating him and he just kept trying. And so finally I was like, okay. And it got really intense really quick. Like it literally feels like we dated for at least a year and we only dated for a month. <laughs> I have no clue like it we were with each other like every day it was like so romantic like once again the Venusian energy like but like a, a really romantic sexual like sensual like like Venusian energy like throughout the relationship those were in like my hardcore drinking days so we, we drank all the time and we'd get like super drunk and just like I mean just have a bunch of crazy sex like and it was just insane oh my gosh like and like he like took me to like go watch like the ducks like in a pond and like no one had ever taken me to do that before and like i loved ducks and it was just like it was like poetic almost and i was like oh my god like this is insane like i literally like he i thought for the longest time like he was probably like my first love and he only dated for a month but i don't remember exactly what happened but basically doing what libras do you know like scared of commitment and all that basically like we broke up but i'm pretty sure it was like on his terms and which like really crushed my ego because like i was like a little heartbreaker when i was younger so it like screwed me up for a while like i was not able to accept it it was insane but so that's like my main experience with a libra and then i kind of like messed around with like another libra guy and kind of like the same thing like but i don't know like i wasn't feeling it as much i don't know what it was i just wasn't feeling it as much i was also going through my own shit at the time and i wasn't really happy with myself at the time and so i almost felt like he was kind of too good for me in a way at that time then i also noticed like we had went out to a bar and he was like flirting with like he told me a joke like when we first got to this bar like he told me this like funny joke whatever and we start playing pool and then these two other girls come over and they want to play pool and then he tells them the same joke like and then they laugh and they think he's so funny and i'm like and like am i just being a libra right now or was that just like really shitty to do like i don't know like i just thought and then he just kept like trying to make them laugh and i was just like i get it like we're libras we're social be nice all you want but like that was a little weird you know what i mean like it kind of seemed like he was flirting with them and maybe i was just really insecure at the time i don't know so moving on to scorpio i understand them because i guess i'm a libra so i'm balancing out we're right between virgo and scorpio the light and the dark you know what i mean and i have a night chart so i'm like i lean a little more darker to things than um maybe most libras do or, or other people do i love darkness like i don't know i'm very attracted to it like, i love wearing the color black and like i really feel like darkness is beauty and, and we're talking about that in my online course right now scorpio has always like attracted me for the longest time i always felt like i should have been a scorpio like i love libra and i love being a libra but i also felt like i don't know maybe i was like a secret scorpio or something and then when i actually like really got into astrology and i realized like i have like my fourth house is scorpio i have mars mercury and pluto like all in scorpio that's like asteroids and stuff i was like oh okay that makes sense i don't think i've really had any like really negative experience with scorpios i know i dated one scorpio when i was younger like really young and i loved that like mysterious energy i was like yes give it to me you know what i mean there's kind of like under all that mysterious dark hard seeming energy um i kind of see the softness and that softness feels more of like a friend to me normally with Scorpios than like an attraction. Like once I get to that softness with a Scorpio, like not that I like not that they're not good enough, you know what I mean? And like I said, like I've not only dated one Scorpio, but the few that I've known, we normally get along really well. We normally vibe really well. So Sagittarius. So I actually don't have a lot of experience with Sagittarius either. I have a friend that's a Sagittarius, and then um, I knew some people in high school that were Sages, but like 
the main experience I think I have with Sagittarius is this guy that I dated. <laughs> he might as well just be like honest AF experience with all the signs that I've dated. But anyway, so it was this guy and it was like at a really, really toxic point in my life. Literally like my own hell is what I was getting into. And this guy, like I found him and he was older and I literally like had nothing, no one, like I had lost everything, like I had relapsed and I was just on drugs really bad and he was on drugs and he basically like took me in, took care of me and he was a Sagittarius and he basically like fathered me in a way but we ended up getting in a relationship. So it was like a really unhealthy love. It was like I'll kill for you or something type of love that he had with me. And at, at, for the longest time I thought that was true love. Like I really did. Like I n never had anyone like care for me the way that he did. The worse off that we got like in our addiction and stuff, like the more just like really, really paranoid he got. Just really, really jealous, really paranoid. Always thought I was lying. Always thought I was doing X, Y, Z and was just like got really really crazy and just like really scary crazy and then also i'm not saying like all sages are like this obviously but um like my my girl sages like the girlfriend sages that i have like aren't like this in my opinion it might have just been like him and his own placements or something i don't know i know sagittarius is very big about the truth so you know that could have been something but he could tell stories and i still to this day like have no idea if the shit that he has told me like that he used to tell me is true or not because I literally could not figure it out. Like sometimes I'd be like, yeah, he's just saying this shit. And then I'm like, well, I don't know. Like that's a lot of details to like remember or know or come up with like randomly. Like, But he could tell stories and like Sagittarius can tell stories. Man, I was like, damn. Like still to this day, I'm like, holy shit. Like was that even true? Like, so yeah, that's my experience with Sagittarius. Moving on to Capricorn. <laughs> so... For the longest time, I'll be honest with you guys, I did not like Capricorn. Like, not really Capricorn people, I guess, but Capricorn as a sign and what it represented. I think my Aquarius moon kind of, like, rebelled against it, and also the child in me, like, rebelled against it big time because I was raised by a Capricorn step-parent who was very, very strict, and that was not my real parent, you know, and so we didn't see eye to eye, and I you know, grew up really, really rebellious against this step parent of mine. And, um, and for many reasons that like I've talked on about like on my Patreon, I think and stuff. So basically like I had a lot of issues because of this. I think that's kind of why, but then once I like learned, like once I started like learning my chart and everything years ago, and I realized like I have a lot of Capricorn in me. Like I have like a, a whole ass stellium in Capricorn which means like I have like literally multiple planets back to pack in Capricorn. And then also I realized the reason that I kind of disliked that Capricornian traditional structured energy is because my North Node is in Capricorn. So, you know, obviously like our North Node, we normally like reject it. You know what I mean? Like we normally don't want to do that. It's like the thing we, we think that we need the least when really it's the thing that we need the most. And so, anyways, but after I realized this, it still took me a long time. Like, I was still pissed off. I'm like, I don't want to fucking be, like, a Capricorn or embrace that energy or, like, whatever. Like I said, because of my own childhood issues, not really anything that happened to me with another Capricorn. Because, like, I, I actually, like, have known this Capricorn guy, like, that I've kind of, like, hung out with on and off. It was kind of like a, a drug relationship. And, like, we got along really good. Like, he was cool to hang out with, really sarcastic, like Capricorns are. Like, I never had an issue with him. I just, like, actually recently, like, this year, I've been, like, really realizing how much Capricorn energy that I have in me and how to really embrace it. And I noticed right off the bat when I started doing YouTube readings that my Capricorn readings, like, I would literally be so connected. Like, I probably connect to Capricorn during my readings more than, like, any other sign, I feel like. That was really odd to me for a while, too. And I'm like, damn, like, this makes total sense, you know what I mean? So yeah, I've really been, like, learning to embrace that Capricorni Capricornian energy, and I love, like, just the Capricorns that you of you guys that, like, comment on my videos and stuff. Like, you guys are always so cool on my Capricorn readings, and I'm, like, always shocked that it resonates. Ever since, like, doing YouTube, it's really helped me, like, with my whole Capricorn energy bias. Like I said, like, not against Capricorns themselves, just like Capricorn energy as a sign, because I was rejecting that part of me, if that makes sense. So, because it was something that my stepfather was mirroring in me that I didn't 
like as a child basically and that I shoved down into my shadow so if you know about all that then you get it but anyways moving on Aquarius so um, Aquarians I normally get along really good with Aquarians especially Aquarian women like for the most part we normally um, are kind of on that level that I was talking about earlier not that it's high or lower like we just understand each other because they're another air sign I will say that there's some things that we can disagree on though because they're a fixed air sign it's like their ideas are fixed right so it's almost like it's really hard to get them to budge or change their mind or see things in a different way and as a libra looking at all sides i love people that are open-minded and will like listen to what i'm saying and comprehend it and consider it instead of just like nope you're wrong i'm right deuces you know what i mean and so i've had i've had that happen a little bit with like aquarius men but m mostly like women aquarius women and i will get along like really good so my son's father is actually an aquarius he was i'm pretty sure like the first aquarian i ever dated and we were really young literally like the epitome of aquarian like for the most part just rebellious like he had no sense of like law or rules or whatever like he was a bad boy and like just literally like did not consider those things when taking action or doing anything and it was like insane and I literally was like always worried about him and stuff but I thought like I could like fix him and his his childhood issues and stuff and that didn't end up working out and I have also noticed like Aquarian males can tend to have like a temper anyway so he's also kind of like real dry just like my my Aquarian moon he can be really dry like really shy and all of that um but, and I know not all Aquarians are like that, but that's just like my experience with Aquarius. So I normally vibe really well with Aquarius. I, I really do. Like we normally can have really intellectual conversations. I really like a, I really like Aquarius. Um, Aquarius energy and Aquarius as a sign. Aquarian people, like it's awesome. <laughs> and they normally always like have like some really cool random feature that makes them look like very alien ish you know what i mean which is also really cool moving on to pisces pisces i have a special place for because as most of well not most of you guys i shouldn't say but as some of you guys know especially pisces that have been around for a while my mom who passed away a few years ago um she was a pisces and so i was raised by pisces and me and my mom were like freaking this like sometimes i like literally think like our soul was split into two and put in you know what I mean? Like, we're part of, like, one soul or something because, like, we were just so much alike even though our signs are completely different. And apparently she had a Gemini rising as well. And so, yeah, but we just got each other. Like, I don't know how to explain it. And maybe it was just more of, like, a mom-daughter thing or our own synastry and stuff and less of, like, a Pisces-Libra thing. But we just got each other. And then um, I have a really good friend now that's also a Pisces. Most of the Pisceans I've known have just been... Just beautiful people, just really soft, really nice, really kind, really compassionate, just really emotional. <laughs> um, sometimes, like as an air sign, like double air, and like I said, not a lot of water in my chart, I can get a little bit, I feel like I can be a little too harsh sometimes or too dry or too detached for Piscean energy or for, for Pisces. But other than that, like I freaking love them. So, last but not least, I saved Aries for last because. I freaking love Aries. <laughs> Aries is probably like my, one of my favorite signs, maybe my number one favorite. And I know a lot of people are, are going to be like, what? Really? Fuck Aries. Like, cause Aries have just such a reputation for being childish and immature and yada, yada, yada. But as a Libra, like I find Aries energy so attractive because it's my opposite and it's, it's my opposite counterpart. Like it is everything that I'm not and I am everything that it is not. And I didn't figure this out until way later on in life. Like, I wish I would have figured out this sooner. But I don't think I had ever really known many Aries that I know of. Basically, I didn't figure this out until, like, years ago. Um, I was, like, in my early 20s. And I was working at this, like, fast food place I was serving. And there was this Aries guy. And he, like, had a crush on me. Like, I had a boyfriend. And so I just kept, like, ignoring him. And he just kept hitting on me and hitting on me. And it was like a, like a competition and it like literally turned me on because Aries are like competitive and stuff right and so it was like oh my god so like literally turned me on and I was like I don't know like my relationship wasn't going very well anyway and then eventually we broke up and then I like after we had finally broken up I was like hey like I'm single and and he was like oh like coming out with me tonight like let's do this and I was just like okay like okay okay and there was just this like magnetic pool. Like, I mean, I had never felt anything like it with anybody else. There was just this magnetic freaking pool. Like I could not stop myself. Like I was just so attracted to him. And 
I, I don't even know. And then like the, the sex was like amazing, like just amazing. And I was just like, holy crap. I had always been into astrology at that point, but I hadn't like really looked into my own chart yet and learned about all the other different things in astrology other than like your sun sign and all that. So I had looked up like Libra and Aries compatibility and and I just resonated with it so much. I was like, oh my God, this is so true. He like literally is my opposite. Like he's like literally like the head server, like at the place that we worked at. And like, I'm kind of like, I'm not very assertive. Like I just try to stay balanced and like not be in anyone's way and like make everybody happy and like the peacemaker, but he doesn't care. He'll tell someone, fuck you. And like, and so it was like, we each just, I don't know, like it, it was just crazy. But then he ended up getting arrested for not paying child support, <laughs> which I had no idea about. Like literally it was like a two week thing, but it was like just so like, oh my God, you know what I mean? And so, so yeah, and then that didn't really work out. Um, and then not long after that, I ended, it was when I ended up like really going off the deep end again with drugs and stuff. And so um, not because of that or anything, but yeah, it was insane. And then now the relationship that I'm in now that I've been in since, to the beginning of 2017 that I was talking about earlier. He's a Virgo rising and he's an Aries sun. And once again, it's just like that, I don't know, that passion, that fire and air, something about cardinal fire and air is just like, oh, I can't get enough, you know what I mean? And so, I don't know. And, and I feel like ever since I've met him, like I've become more of me and he's become more of him. You know what I mean? Like we we almost like not complete each other, but we pull out the best in each other. We help each other grow. We help each other evolve. Like I've learned to stand up for myself more. I've learned to um, embrace my Capricorn energy more. I've learned to embrace Aries energy more. I like be more assertive and, you know, not be afraid to stand up for myself and learn who I really am deep down. And, you know, just he's pulled out a lot of things in me that I would have never looked at otherwise. And you know, vice versa. So it's so interesting, but yeah, so that is my experience with all 12 zodiac signs, my honest AF experience with all 12 zodiac signs. I hope that was, um, I hope this was interesting for you guys. I hope you guys like this kind of video. If you guys have any other kinds of ideas for videos like this that you want to see, leave them down below. I would love to hear about them and I'll probably do them. So definitely let me know. I need help coming up with ideas. Like can only come up with so many ideas and then like I get creative block every now and then. So definitely let me know. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this.